What's up everybody, my name is Astonishing Pix and today we're doing another video. Now, this is not a review and by you guys reading the title of this video, um, you guys already know what kind of video this is. And the importance of uh, customs and showing you guys some customs that I have, um, thanks to some third party or, or customizers out there. Although I'm not a big customizer myself, um, you know, I try to make the figure look better in some aspects because sometimes uh companies like hasbro or mcfarland or any other type of company um usually they hit the spot when it comes to their products but uh sometimes it's it just isn't enough and you know people turn to customizers and other uh or make, make stuff themselves to really um make the figure more accurate. So first off, we have the SH Figure Arts Last Jedi Kylo Ren. Now I got this figure at a really good price, like about 40, 50 bucks um, a few years back. And you know, I thought it was pretty great and everything, um, but it just kind of looked a little bit bare bones. So um, I didn't really do much customizing here, but all I did was added the Black Series uh, Kylo Ren's scarf into this guy so it looks more you know Kylo Ren-ish or you know it looks like a complete outfit rather than you know a bare bones uh, Kylo Ren you know makes him I guess look more stylish and I guess more intimidating. So this is the next custom that I'm showcasing again this is um it's a pretty different type of custom and again this is what this is what I would say is my OC character in Star Wars. I know I, when it comes to OC characters, you know, people like to put a lot of care into them, but uh, I personally don't have a lot of resources um, on, to my disposal. So, you know, I just use some blue sticky tech and use parts of the model kit clone trooper to, you know, piece this guy using the body of Cassie and Andor and adding uh, a bit of a cloth uh to make a scarf because the neck looks too long and i just needed something to cover it up and this is my character uh the castle you know uh just a bounty hunter or maybe a new republic spy i don't know i'm kind of working on what type of character or what position he has but that's the name and again this i wouldn't say that this is the most stable uh, custom that I have really the armor parts are just being held by blue sticky tack and rather than glue or anything other anything that you know other customizers use I also wanted to mention that I also did add um, a little like um, what would you call it a screwdriver uh, cap thing in thingamajig <laughs> I don't know what it's called but it was on a screwdriver, so I put it on as a armored pad or some kind of shin armor, chromium, to mimic that. And yeah, there is my uh, character or OC character. Moving on to my next custom. This is the uh, Mandalorian that I decided to customize. A shout out to Nostalgic Adam for finding this Mandalorian figure a few years back. Um, you know, this figure was hard to find, especially because of all the hype of uh, Mando Season 2 and everything. But yeah, I just wanted to give him a quick shout out. When it comes to this custom right here, I am, you know, honestly amazed and amazed to the huge difference that the helmet or the head sculpt has on this entire figure. Um, uh, before it came with this weird, um weird helmet that Hasbro I don't know provided uh if you guys don't know which I'm pretty sure you guys do Hasbro is doing this thing where they put heads underneath um helmets and like like a removable type of helmet instead of making it just different heads which I think it's kind of dumb um but yeah they're doing that and because of that sometimes the helmets come out warped and they just look awful um, I don't think the helmet that he, this guy came in looked pretty bad or anything. It just, it just didn't look like a Mandalorian or the helmet to me. It just didn't look accurate. Um, and, you know, Hasbro failed on that part. I don't know what the marketing team is doing with that. You know, they're not making their figures look 
accurate to the show. Um, in some areas they do, in some areas they don't. I just wish they were more consistent with their work. Now, this figure I customized somewhat. I did add a um, Island Journey Ray um, poncho, but I made it into some kind of cape for Mando. It's not perfect or anything, but it's just what I had lying around to, to make him a, a custom uh, cape. And I could have easily probably ordered um, any uh, customizers cape out there. There's a lot of uh, people who do amazing capes, but you know, I just don't have the type of money to be spending my money, uh, you know, willy nilly like that. Even though the products that they're giving are pretty good. So I recommend you guys uh, give those guys a look in Instagram. I'll try to link some down below in the description. I know a few uh, customizers on Instagram that do a pretty good job at um, delivering um, accessories and stuff like that. Now, I also did have or give um, the Darksaber to uh, Din Djarin here. Um, again, all I did was just buy the Moff Gideon figure. So, you know, I wouldn't say that it's uh, a part of this figure, but uh, yeah. The biggest thing that this guy has is the helmet. Now the helmet is made by John Walker Customs. I did order it from there, from his website on Instagram. I'll link his page down below so you guys could check him out. But yeah, um, it's just amazing what this helmet, um, you know, did to the figure. It just made the figure look, you know, amazing, probably compar comparable to the SH figure arts in terms of looks. Maybe not in articulation, but in terms of looks, it did. And I bought it with the paint on, so, you know, I'm not really good at painting or anything, so it's great to see that there are options that they offer, you know, if you just want just a casted one without paint um, and you just wanted to paint it yourself, you could do that, or you could just ask him to, you know, paint it for you and he'll do that, and again, it looks pretty good, and yeah. Definitely one of the better customs that I have, so yeah. My next custom is a, a pretty recent one that I've made, um, and it is the Batman. This is a huge difference to what it looked like back then or when I first got it. So what I did with this figure is I did add some, uh, some, I it did add some rub and buff to the bat area and to the chest area and everything to you know to make it pop more to make it look more uh, realistic to what the suit looked like in the movie and um there there is a mistake that i made with this guy and i'll tell you guys um about it in a bit but i did add some sil silver along the belt um in the back too here's some silver although it is kind of fading but i'll tell you guys why and before you guys ask, like, you should have added some kind of, you know, clear coat or something. And to that, I say that, um, you know, I, I did, but um, it ended up being more problematic. As you can see, it looks pretty good from this angle. But yeah, um, I did add some matte, uh, a matte finish, I think was with Krylon or something like that. I sprayed it on him to make the figure look more matte instead of glossy because it was kind of glossy kind of um, and I did want the all the the you know metallic or like rub and buff to stay on the figure and so it wouldn't fade away and when I did it made the figure look worse because I don't know if it's the type of plastic that they're using McFarlane toys but it just made the figure look glossy like really glossy like you could see your reflection on the figure itself where you know it shouldn't be there and I was panicking you know I was like what did I just do you know I thought this was supposed to make the figure more matte and I continued to add more layers you know thinking maybe I just didn't apply enough or maybe um the weather or something I don't know Um, but every time I did, it just made the figure glossy, and I was like, what What do I even do? 
I heated up the figure because, you know, I wanted to remove the arms and everything, and I put it in boiling water. And then I found that, um, that the hot water made the figure more matte, and I guess in a way it kind of like burned it off or like washed off the the matte coats on it. Um, unfortunately, this figure is still kind of glossy, um, but you know, I think if you added more in you know hot water it will take the way take away the glossiness that the figure has um i did that with the arms the shoulder pads were really glossy and now they're matte um but i would say that the that the metallic or the rubbing buff that i added to make the figure uh, you know but more realistic kind of also faded away a little bit so it was kind of like a lose-lose situation and you know there still is some detail although it's still kind of glossy but not as glossy as it was before so i think it looks pretty good for what it is when i worked that all in the end i managed to order a custom cape now i will try to link it i can't remember the name of the seller and i think that the, the cape that i ordered was is kind of a little bit big on the batman that i got which i probably should have gotten a smaller cape so that's on me but um the cape um itself is pretty good it's wired and everything as you can see it poses it's pretty amazing what you know a cape a custom cape could do uh compared to a plastic cape that you know mcfarland or other toy companies use and so the final custom that i wanted to guys show off which i would say that it's done a pretty big uh impact and it looks pretty good and amazing is um the crosshair custom now it might seem like it might not look you know much of a difference if you look at the product and everything but yeah um anyways um i had to customize this figure because you know the way hasbro does things is that they would reuse parts from a previous figure for their you know figure current releases and as you can see that this crosshair uses a lot of uh, reuse from the hunter body and they usually do a lot of reuse for their troopers and you know i would say that the community is dissatisfied with what hasbro is doing and i have been too you know when i got this figure from the mail and i thought you know i saw how it looked like how I used the previous uh, crosshair body mold and how inaccurate it looked. I was like, it's fine, you know. Um, at least it, you know, it came with a helmet, different helmet and a different chest piece and a belt piece. At least it looks different enough, you know. But then I saw saw Camino and Customs kit on Instagram. And, you know, I saw their previous or his previous custom, you know, 100% custom that he made with you know uh, 3d um designs from uh, i think it's skylu designs i i can't remember but um he you know casted those printed the printed 3d printed the parts out you know and the figure looks amazing i think i've also seen S scr customs or scr pixels um custom crosshair and again, it looks amazing, you know, it uses, you know, a lot of uh, custom parts um, to make crosshair look, you know, like it, like how an accurate cross crosshair would look like. I felt jealous, you know, I felt like, wow, um, these guys got their, uh, you know, accurate crosshair customs and, you know, they've done the work, they know what they're doing. And, you know, I couldn't do that. I couldn't afford, I can't afford a 3D printer and everything but yeah um the amazing thing that i saw one day it was that um Caminone customs was gonna make a, a simple kit uh for crosshair he released pictures of it and i immediately dm'd him saying oh i'm interested in this you know crosshair kit you know um uh, it's simple to do and everything and it was simple to do and again the way that this figure looks you know it's completely changed everything about this figure, you know. The the shoulder pads look accurate to the TV show and looks pretty good. The 
I don't know if you guys can notice this, but the hand armor pieces, they're also accurate too. I have to glue them on and everything. The gun as well, the sniper rifle, is a bit smaller and everything, but it looks better than what the ginormous gun that he had came with originally. And, you know, the knee pads also look pretty good. The uh, feet, or yeah, the feet uh, guards right there. They look amazing too. And yeah, those were the only things that came with the kit. Um, it did come with other hands too, although I am a bit scared of taking off the hands of this uh, this figure because I don't want to. I don't know if it's uh, if you have to like force it off or break it, or I don't want to damage the pieces that I have on the hand too. So I'm a bit scared of doing that. But uh, other than that. What I did was I added the matte coat and a little bit of a rub and buff to make him look a little bit more shinier or silver. Add some silver battle damage here and there. It's not much, but yeah, that's what I added. And I, I guess it made the figure look, uh, you know, 10 times better. Not 100% accurate, of course, but you know, it did help improve the figure. And I thank Camino Customs for that. Um, he does amazing customs and kits. If you guys ever want to check him out, I highly recommend him. You know, he does a lot of great work. So yeah, guys, that's about it for this video. And, you know, thank you guys for watching. Again, I'll leave a link um, to these guys, uh, to the customizers down below and everything. A uh, huge thanks to the cus customizing community. You know, they do so much for everyone and you know they exist only because the companies uh toy companies don't do enough to you know listen to um you know their customers and the people they are selling to you know they don't care enough to make 100 percent accurate you know figures so these guys take it upon themselves to you know create uh pieces that will make the figures more accurate and yeah guys um Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And check out my other platforms. TikTok, Twitter, um, Instagram. And yeah, guys. Peace. Um...